Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a brief tutorial on how to draw a steam or sand dome in SolidWorks. I've had a few people over the years ask me for advice on the best way to go about it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it in SolidWorks. And then we'll also sort of freelance a sand dome on a uh, conical boiler jacket like you'd have or on a shea. Um, just so you can see how, how to do that as well. This drawing is for a Union Pacific 060 switcher uh, steam dome. So I'll move this off to the side so I can look at this as a reference. I have this on my second display while we draw it out in SolidWorks. It's been a little while since I've drawn a dome, so I gotta think about this for a second. I think first thing I want to do is establish, yeah, we'll establish the bottom. Basically, this is at the moment basically representing the boiler. I want to make the center point vertical with the origin just so that this can't move around too much just so it's fixed in a vertical orientation and here you have to decide I mean if, if I made this exactly to scale on the thickness uh, on the real thing this would have been formed from sheet metal which we don't typically do on our models so I don't know, eighth inch seems like a reasonable wall thickness so we'll just make this eighth inch uh, let's see what else we have here on our drawing the dimension for the radius that it sits on is just marked with R and then you have to come to this chart to look at what the radius is supposed to be for the class of locomotive. It doesn't really matter. Let's go with 37 inches. So while we do this, I'm also going to be scaling this as we go. We'll just do 1 8 scale um, since it's easy. So this is going to be 37 inches, but that's the radius. So we'll go times 2, 37 times 2, and then divided by 8 since we're doing 1 8 scale. So that gives us nine and a quarter. Now I'm just gonna draw a line right through the middle and it, it automatically stuck to the center point. So it's fully defined already. I love the power trim. It's my, my favorite feature in SolidWorks. I pretty much don't use any of these other trim tools cause I can just click and hold and drag and just quickly trim away all the lines I don't want. Uh, so now let's come back to our drawing. We need to know what our outside diameter is. So 48 and a half inches is the total outer diameter of that the base of that flange. So now we'll extrude it. I'm gonna go mid-plane so everything stays centered about our origin. So it was 48 and a half inches and we're just gonna divide that by eight. So it's six and one sixteenth. Now we can go from the top draw a circle and it's already dimensioned to what I want so I'm just going to make it tangent with the edge and extrude cut through all and I'm going to flip side to cut to trim away everything else that I don't want. Now for the dome part so I'm going to do this with the revolve. I like to do as much as I can in a single sketch instead of building up the dome out of multiple features. I'm going to do most of it here in this one sketch. So this is construction line, infinite length. It doesn't have to be infinite length, but uh, I like to do it so that I don't have to dimension anything to get it fully defined. We'll draw it as a wall. So I'm just getting the geometry on here. It's not correct, but uh, I can go back, so I, I get the lines on there, I go back and put some um, geometric constraints, relations, geometric relations, to kind of tie everything together, and then I'll come back and actually put the dimensions in there. So what do we have here? We'll start with this, 39 inches. 39 divided by 8. This radius is 11 inches, 11 divided by eight. That's a one inch lip or a one inch bead. The inside is 14 and a quarter. Uh, to here, that's 14 and a quarter divided by eight. And then this is one inch, one inch divided by eight, which is eighth of an inch. Uh, but some weird things happened here. There we go. We still have a little bit more. Okay. Three quarter, it's a three quarter radius. So it's 0.75 divided by eight. 
So these dimensions are drawn from the tangent point at the top of this of this arc. Since we did an eighth inch wall thickness, we're going to go off the top. And that'll make it look proportionately a little bit more accurate. Let's start with this 24 and 7 eighths to the top of the 11 inch radius. So we're going to go off of our origin here. 24.875 divided by 8. One and three quarter from there to the top. 1.75 divided by 8. On this arc, we're just going to make these two points vertical. So all the lines are black, so that means we're fully defined. We you could do an offset to quickly offset these entities to create your wall thickness, but there's so few lines, I don't mind just drawing them out. We'll make this eighth inch. We'll just go eighth inch all around. We'll make this flat across. I want to, I'm going to make this stick out just a little bit past and we're ready to revolve. I like to use the delete face feature. I'm lazy. There's some things that I just type in to the search bar. Now this fillet on the bottom is kind of tricky because you can't really do it with the fillet feature or if there's a way, I don't know how. What we want to do is create an offset plane. Um, at the top of where our radius starts. Um, you know, this, this four and one eighth dimension here, that's the top of the radius all the way across the dome. We'll create a plane that's that distance. I think, what was it, four and an eighth? I'm gonna do it again just to make sure I got it right. And now we're just gonna draw a circle on that plane that we just created. And we're gonna make it equal to our dome. Now we can hide that plane. Now I'm going to make a few guide curves. So we're going to draw a radius in here that matches the radius that, that we want our feature to follow. Make sure this comes all the way down to the, to the point there. Do it on the other side. Make it tangent. Um, tangent to the side and then it's just going to it's not going to be tangent to the bottom but um, it's just going to come right up to it when the lines are blue you can just kind of drag it around to see where it's not connected so there we go and now we're going to flip it and do it this side same thing oh not tangent, just kidding. Uh, this one, see it does some, it doesn't quite come all the way. So, so we're actually gonna fudge this a little bit. We're gonna bring the plane up just a tiny bit. We can probably just bring it up another 15 thousands and that might be enough. Uh, it wasn't quite. The other thing we can do instead of, instead of guessing is just do the math. Our difference in radius here is what we want. 6 and a 16th minus 4 and 7 eighths. 6 and a 16th minus 4 7 eighths divided by 2. So this is how far above we want our plane for this to work out nicely. 0.59375. Now that should be, yeah, should come all the way to the tip now without interfering with the bottom. Bring this to the other side. Okay. Now we're going to use the loft feature to create our fillet radius. So top profile, top of flange. Let's start uh, normal to profile and go through and select our guide curves usually can't really trust the loft to do what you want to do. Guide curves go a long way. All right, so now we have the proper shape. And I just remembered 
why it's better to draw this solid. So we'll just delete this, this, and this. We're going to draw this as one solid piece. Um, that's going to break our delete face. We just have to go back and select the faces that are actually there now. Okay. So now we have this beautiful dome, but it's solid. Um, but in order to get a uniform wall thickness all around um, this fillet, instead of you know recutting the loft from the inside, uh, we can just use the shell feature. And we're going to put eighth inch for our wall thickness. Okay. So I probably did something a little weird. Oh no, it's fine. So now we just have to cut a hole through the top. And there you have it. SP style 060 steam dome in 1 8 scale. Make this vertical. Now we're fully defined, same thing, through all, flip side to cut. So now we have the bottom. We have the flange for our dome. 